Hi everyone, uh, this is Prashant from Globalizers and in our continuing series of videos of inspiration, today we have one of our fall 2019 admits for uh, United States for his master's degree. I welcome Tushar on the show and uh, I think what's special about Tushar and his profile that this fellow, this lad is going to US with 100% scholarship with an annual stipend of 22,000 US dollar and lot of other benefits. So Tushar, how does it feel to have 100% scholarship and he's going to a well-renowned uh, you know, university at Ohio, which is Ohio University. How does it feel, Tushar? I am just exciting now. Ke, uh, the Ohio University has offered me a full funding uh, with an additional RA and $20,000 stipend. Uh, so it was a uh, exciting experience for me after joining in Globalizers and landing on there, which uh, which I was uh, I thought initially that it could not be possible. But uh, I really thank my counselor, Mr. Prashant Hamnani who worked me, uh, with me uh, all through my path and uh, made it me possible, made it for, possible for me. Okay, so uh, Tushar, you were from electronics background. Yes. Sir. And now you're moving to computer science. So why do you want to shift this field and what is the reason and what inspires you to do this? Uh, firstly, uh, my bachelor's were a combination of many programming languages and uh, hands-on experience on a computer science background. So, uh, as soon as I delved more deeper and deeper and I got more interest towards programming, so I w wanted to change my branch from electronics to computer science. Also, uh, after uh, talking about the job opportunities, whether in India or US or in any other countries, I am quite sure that computer science offers you a lot of more opportunities as compared to electronics. Uh, and since it was my interest to pursue a computer science after getting a degree from uh, electronics and telecommunications background, uh, so I decided to uh, go for masters in a computer science program and that to form abroad. Great. And uh, uh, while you were preparing for this entire journey, you 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 knew that you want to go for a master's degree, right? Uh, I remember that you told me very clearly that uh, if I have to go to US. I'll go with full funding, else I will not go. So what was the reason behind that? Because uh, people go with definitely, they have the loans, right? They have a lot of other benefits, but why you always wanted to go with 100% scholarship? Uh, the reason is simple, as I belong from a middle class family background, so the finances would uh, always be going to burden you, whether it's in the form of loan or whether you get money from any other uh, third party uh, persons. Uh, and also initially I thought that a full fund, getting a full funding from a university is impossible and that too in your, uh, when you are changing a branch from electronics to computer science but uh, Prashant sir told me that you would get a full funding and uh, I'm, uh, there were many roller coasters in between but uh, I trust my counsellor, I trust my counselling, whole counselling process and there are some things which the people don't know about and that only counsellor can tell you about like uh, for example profile building how to showcase your talents from an electronics background to convert it into a CS background. So I really thank Prashant sir. Secondly, my, uh, my father is an accountant in a private firm. So I don't think that uh, we were having an uh, amount of 30 to 35 lakhs to spend on a uh, two year education. So I was quite sure from the beginning that uh, I would only go if I get a full funding. And that's what the Prashant sir made it possible for me. Uh, to get a full funding and uh, he helped me to crack all the interviews uh, which I given on a Skype to the professors from US. So, so you, you had gone through interviews as we all see. Yeah, a lot of interviews. A lot of interviews. So uh, what were those interviews like? So even from people who want to shift from EC to CS or people who are in CS applying for CS or DS masters, what things they should know uh, about those interviews and what kind of skills they, they, they should have? Uh, first and foremost, uh, I think that uh, your, you should have a background knowledge of the program for which you are applying. Like uh, if you are applying for a CS program, like talking about me, you should know the basic programming skills like Python, Java, C++ programming, data structures, main thing. Uh, the professors who are going to test you on that particular strength, like for example, uh, in one of my interviews, the professor asked me to write a quote for a binary search data structure. So I performed it well but uh, then also he delved more deeper and deeper into that particular code and uh, I was not able to answer that 
so that's what the point the professor rejected me in that particular interview so i tried more hard i learned more things i i used to learn uh, things in uh, mainly in night sessions so it gave me imm immense confidence to crack other interviews and uh, that happens in uh, interview of ohio university where i cracked my uh, uh, all the coding problems and uh, the skills which the professors was uh, professor was looking for a hardware security research assistant position so that what uh, i would suggest the skills and uh, also as soon as you receive your admit from the university try starting prof letters to different universities from which you are getting an admit so that the professor may know your profile and uh, it would be rather easy to communicate to professor directly as uh, 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 compared to communicate to different persons like a graduate college or something other they can they can't provide you funding like ra in the form of ra or ta you just need to contact your professors the uh, department you have applied to and uh, i think that this is the complete scenario what i think for full funding fantastic Tushar has done a commendable job. I think probably we are working together for the last almost couple of years. And right from JRE, I remember every week, every 15 days, I've done my verbal, I've done math, what books. So he was continuously trusting the process. And I think uh, you did well in JRE. It was 30, 315. Uh. 316. 316, uh, sorry. Uh, so 316 was your, how was your GRE preparation? Maybe you can tell them about GRE as well. Yeah, coming from an engineering background, the quant was easy for me. The main problem was uh, uh, verbal section in which I took more help from Prashant sir as he explained that I visited uh, more often after one week or 15 days. Uh, so this same thing can be happen with uh, any anyone. For because the verbal you don't know the words and you gonna listen first time second time and also some words are like uh, uh, sounds uh, similar but their meanings are far away uh, different from uh, each each uh, other so i think that uh, verbal was a tough challenge for me and uh, in quant i scored 167 so that was not a uh, uh, point of difficulty for me great so we discussed with Tushar, one of the rock stars of our ongoing batch for fall 2019, only one fellow from Indore and maybe from Central India who got fully funded computer science master's admit with annual staff in 22,000. So if you want to be the next uh, Tushar, right, uh -huh. you know, and I'm sure you'll keep inspiring yeah, the sure, fellow sure. generation, right, uh, come discuss things at globalizers talk to your profile talk about your profile and never ever believe the common hurt facts where you don't get scholarships and and you know uh, people have a lot of misconceptions so the the reason behind making this video and taking time from tushar is to make sure that we we should we are able to pass on the required inspiration and impetus so that you can dream big now as in last uh, 10 11 years so many globalizer students have gone abroad <clears throat> transformed their lives altogether working in the best of the best companies in best of the best working environments and and making a very very healthy and balanced uh, you know life and career so uh, thank you so much Tushar. thank you sir. all the best for your masters thank you sir. we're really looking forward to your further growth thank you so yes, much thank, thank you're you proud sir. of you thank you so much thank you